It'll count down. Hey everybody, I'm Dusty. If you tuned in yesterday, I went live by myself to share a little bit about my own um, Us Four Books and More story. And today I have, <laughs> I have my husband, Alec, with me. And he's going to share a little bit with you guys um, perspective from what we call in the book lady land as an husband. Um, there's even a club. I'm the best one. He, he is the best one. <laughs> um, he, my leaders, some of them have gone live, have given me a few questions to ask him so he can give you some um, spousal perception of what this business has been like um, having his wife um, do it and its benefits to our family. So we'll just start off. So what did you think when I first told you I wanted to join and be a book lady? Uh, I thought that it would be a waste of money, and that is honest. Uh, I, I worked and supported the family because I thought of the traditional Southern, you know, because that's the right way to do it. If you couldn't tell from his southern. accent, we're not Southern. I'm Southern. I, the part He's, that counts is Southern. Okay? <laughs> He's but Southern. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so uh, so I thought that, that was, so when you came and said that you wanted to be a book lady, uh, I just thought, eh, okay, you know what you want to do. You know, just go make your little money and it'll be fine. Go make my little. Yes. Go make your little money. As a matter lady. of fact, if you remember, it was a big deal that I said that's your money. You go do what you want to with it. That is true. Yes. Maybe I should have stuck with that. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I should. And then stuck. I remember that it was our anniversary, and I wanted a bow because mm -hmm. I loved to bow hunt. That was about a year later. And, and yes, and it's a very expensive bow. It's the fastest bow in the market still yet, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. And uh, I remember you bought it for me, and I was like, wow. And then we were, I was going to have surgery shortly thereafter. And I remember that uh, you said you wanted to take us on vacation. And I did not spend a dime on this vacation. Mm -mm. And that was the first time that we ever were in that position. Our first vacation we ever took. Yeah. We've been married, what, We had been married 10, 10 years. Because for 10 years I support us 100%. Yep. Yes, and I thought, this is amazing. <laughs> then I realized the potential. And so now... I really have no problem asking for this. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> and he has expensive taste. <laughs> I, I do not have expensive, but I do like bows and really nice softball bats and gloves. Mm -hmm. I have a nice collection of those. And cars. I do like to have a car every now and then. <laughs> Your car is nicer than mine, though. My car is nicer. My car was also bought with us board money, but... Um, what has your perception, like how, what was your perception? You shared a little bit about that when I joined my little bit of money. How has that changed? Well, now you make quite a bit more money than I do. <laughs> and true. I produce sweat for a living. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's really nice. Now, and see, the good thing is, as long as you make more money than me, I don't have to worry about getting Carol Baskin. So that's good. <laughs> I like that. That's a, that's a plus. So so I'm not worried about getting fed to the tigers. No Carol Baskining husbands here. No, no we don't want to do that. <laughs> and we support the tiger. Angela King. said no more softball bats. Good luck with that yeah, one. <laughs> I like softball bats. I never knew. I am not a sports person. I was a theater person. Angela knows jazz hands. Jazz hands. I did not play sports. I had no clue <laughs> until I had our first son and married him. How much? sports equipment costs <laughs> yeah. yeah i like the good stuff i don't yeah. like the cheap stuff yeah yeah no he doesn't no, either like, i've got custom bats and i have custom gloves okay we don't need a 10 minute yeah. tangent on that though we can but talk about that. we could yeah oh she brought up a good point about the van window this is why we don't like softball. yes well uh <laughs> it's dusty's fault that it's but, not <laughs> but there was a small a very small crack in the in the windshield i parked the vehicle well away from the field and in foul territory uh but i do unfortunately hit it kind of hard sometimes and i did hit it foul. he's very humble as and you it can did see. it did hit very the windshield humble. just a tiny bit it's just a small crack <laughs> a small and a small crack <laughs> that went from one side of my windshield to the it's, other it wasn't that bad. it was but superficial, superficial thankful to us born we were able to pay for that repair yeah. no problem <laughs> and it wasn't cheap <laughs> But I didn't pay for that either. And nice. and while we were there, just a little fun fact, he tried to recruit the glass repair place to sponsor his softball yes, team. <laughs> and they are in fact going to sponsor they us. Are going to. <laughs> uh, so But I do put the same kind of passion into the Usborne thing because he does. I also, if I'm in the store and I see a lady, I say, Hey, you know, 
I see you got 15 kids, like my wife and I have 15 kids. Six. So, six. so uh, you know, uh, your kids, you don't want your kids to be dumb like me, you should teach them to read. <laughs> My wife sells books. He's so eloquent. But they he see really my, my shirts. I wear the shirts. He does. I see they. Day of you, they, bam. Uh, and uh, people ask me, you know, I like that shirt. Yes, my wife sells books. She's a crazy book lady. And so you can buy books. He probably me. emphasized the crazy a little too much. Um, he has actually, I've had people join the team. He met a waitress on a lunch break when having a car repair once and gave her my card. And she joined the team. So, you know. This is what happens when you can actually dig in and um, get your husband's support and buy him things, apparently. <laughs> yeah, the, the buying him things really helps out a lot. <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> your honesty. <laughs> okay. I can be bought. This <laughs> I always wanted a sugar mama. Oh, my word. Okay, welcome to my world, folks. <laughs> um, all right, what advice would you give to any ladies out there about how to talk to their husbands about the opportunity? Just be patient because like me, some men feel the need to be the supporter and they they feel the need to, to be in control of those things. So if you can be patient with him and let him know that, you know, that there is a real opportunity here and, and let him see it because... Uh, it, it's not it's not a side hustle because she works hard. She works really hard. Uh, she works. I work harder, but she works way more hours, and her job's way more fun than mine. It is. But, I would uh, agree with yeah, that. My job. It, it's cool, but it, it's it's hot. But anyway, <laughs> uh, if if you can show him what you're able to, to accomplish, uh, and, and, and it doesn't take that long. She started making money immediately. She's like you know, it's a couple hundred dollars here or a hundred dollars there or whatever. And it, it, it happened overnight. And once she started, when she decided she was going to make a career out of it, even then, I still, I was like, yeah, you do what you want to, baby. Just, yeah. Uh, but immediately she started showing uh, the benefits of, uh, and especially if you're a homeschooler, because uh, that's what turned her on to us, wanted to start with, was she wanted the books for homeschool mm -hmm. to teach our kids, yeah. who are all smarter than me, even the <laughs> one year old is smarter than me. So that's good. Um. He's humble in some things. <laughs> some things. <laughs> oh, I'm humble. I think my best, best asset is how humble I am. I mm. think out of all the things that's good about me, uh, the <laughs> fact that I'm humble to the, to the, you know, the level that of you humbleness. Your humbleness. Yes. yes, very humble. Um, <laughs> you may forget the last question I was going to ask. Oh, what have well, been the, your age, what, your my age. age. He's she's, older than me. She's older than I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He likes to tell people that because it makes older. him feel better, but. Definitely not. One time someone asked if he was my dad. <laughs> I do have gray hair, but I didn't have any gray hair until I married her. That is That's, not true. This is true. That is that hair. is fake news. He it's had fake he news. had gray it's hair fake. when I met him. <laughs> they did not put that on Fox. It's real. Um what do you think as a family has been the biggest perk? I will say, let me just add, some of you know because you're part of the team, but these shelves, I'll give him some props here. These shelves are a very recent purchase. Um, for us, it's only been a few weeks, um, and he did labor <laughs> with m much weeping and gnashing of yes. teeth. <laughs> yes, I did threaten to throw them out. <laughs> <into> <laughs> to, and I meant I'm, I was to going assemble to, these yeah. lovely shelves, um, but these shelves are there. This is only a small. This is one out of a wall full. That's a testament to what this business has brought into our home. So we know that is a perk. I don't see that. I, there's too many books here. <laughs> too uh, many I mean, books. anybody that's got like 4,000, if you have more books than your local library, you have too many books. That is not true. How do you think your children got so smart? Not, I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> He's not telling me. I, I went, to, I went to, the, to the school for kids that can't read yet. Oh, my goodness. He loves Zoolander. <laughs> I think he wanted to do his blue steel. But... I, was, I was going to, but I was afraid that would intimidate him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you intimidated by the blue steel but you can talk a little bit so he didn't read at all when I met him like at all and he thought it was crazy our oldest is almost 15 which is crazy to say but when I was pregnant with her I wanted him to like read to my stomach and when she was born I'm like you need to read to her and he didn't want to read to her um, but now he doesn't read Hard copy books, but what what do you listen to all the time now? All the time, I do. I listen to books all the time. Yeah. See, I'm dyslexic, so 
I don't I don't read good really. That's not a joke. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, I have, and uh, and the kids have even gotten a kick out of. I will read the kids books uh, and read because I listen to them. But uh, I will do the kids books and I will listen to the stories or the uh, uh, the series that they're listening to. I'm really into history. I love the history stuff. Uh, so I'll back, bounce back and forth, but I generally have a book going all the time, even in the gym. I'll be in the gym in the morning at 5 a.m. Everybody else is jamming out, and I'm listening to a book. Uh, it's it's become kind of an addiction. Uh, but the children do, uh, even even our youngest, Judah, uh, you'll see him with a book open quite frequently. And uh, and our kids' test scores are great uh, with with those in those areas. Uh, reading has definitely been a good thing for the family. And I have this on film. So when you next time you talk about we have too many books, I'm gonna replay. I'm gonna replay. I didn't say we didn't have too many. We still have too many books. <laughs> we should not have too many. If the library comes to you to borrow books, <laughs> then you have too many books. I would disagree. I and would the disagree. wall she bragged about is a wall in the house. There's <laughs> the entire every wall down the hallway is covered in bookshelves, and that's not counting the books she's got stacked up because she doesn't have no shelves. And in we have books in and box boxes, boxes on the floor. Right? There's always boxes of books. I trip over something. I just assume. I don't even look. It's, I just assume it's another box of books that just got here today. The other day, I told him about a book, and I and I pointed, and I was like, "It came out of that box." And he said, "What box?" I'm like, "The box of books. They just came in the other day." He said, "I'm so used to there being boxes of books here." <laughs> I didn't yeah, even pay attention. The, the UPS guy, he doesn't even knock or anything. He just no. backs right on up to the back porch. <laughs> and just starts unloading. Oh, I love it. He, he doesn't even look. Switch his guy. He gets out the dolly, and he just. We should starts, probably give him better yeah. Christmas gifts. He he lifts a lot of things to our house for sure. They started coming in tandem, I noticed, but it was the last time there were two of them. Uh, <laughs> they're training them up. We're teaching them what's important. What Outside of books, what else do you think has benefited our family from this business? Well, I like that uh, for you it's an outlet because uh, you don't like people. And so <laughs> <laughs> we should rephrase that as, I am an introvert. That's what I said. <laughs> anyway, so... so uh, she doesn't like the people at all, a lot. So uh, this has been able, it, it's an outlet. She's, she's uh, I call her book boss. She likes the book boss title. She likes that a lot. So uh, she's able to, uh, to, to make herself and, and be somebody that's herself without being mom or being, because for the longest time she was just the wife and just the mom. That's all she did. She stayed at home all the time. Uh, I never washed the dish unless I wanted to. I didn't sweep the floor. I didn't do anything. Uh, she was a housewife. And she was a good housewife. And she was a good mom, but she was she was sort of tied up in that. And so once she started selling books and she became an Osborne lady, uh, she was able to be more. And uh, being a housewife is a wonderful thing. It's it's a great thing. But in in addition to being a housewife and, and a mother and a homeschooling mother, uh, she's become something as much larger than what we are. I remember we went to a uh, one of their events in Tulsa. And uh, everybody said, oh, so you're Mr. Dusty Shell. We, we see her on YouTube. We, we watch your videos all the time. Uh, oh, you're Mr. Nobody ever really bothered to, to know my name. I was Mr. <laughs> Dusty Shell. And, uh, That's and, what really bothered yeah, him. And they, they recognized the kids uh, from the videos and different things. So, so it was, it was a, a, an identity for her besides just what she meant to us. Uh, and so she was able to be something for herself. So not only was she all the things she is for us, she was, she was herself. Uh, and money's cool. Uh, let's face it. Whenever you get a good month, and you know I get to do a little something extra, or you surprise me with those super expensive softball shoes that I was too cheap to buy, and and you found them for me, and, and that was awesome. That stuff's awesome. And uh, husbands do like getting, you know, we like stuff. Okay, <laughs> you can always, always, you know, we like to eat too, but we like stuff. Uh, we like but uh, but the financial thing is is great for us because. Uh, I was working 75, 80 hours a week, uh, and then even the year, uh, one year, I, we took uh, time, the year we went to Tulsa, uh, we came home, and on the way home, uh, she said, how about if you just don't go back to work? And I literally didn't work at all from Six June months. till January, and then we really only went back to get insurance. Uh, I mean, you know, it, it, was, it, it was actually a good thing because of the time uh, I needed to be working, but... When I went back to work, I didn't have to just jump into a job. I went and found a job that I thought I might like, and and I went to a place where I enjoyed working, and, and I worked for those guys. Uh, but uh, not everybody can do that. But we were in a position, even in the interview, I was like, you know, I really don't have to work. Uh, but, you know, I was thinking about coming back to work. Which is probably not <laughs> yeah. the best way to <laughs> well, enter an interview. But they liked me. They had me on the spot. So. <laughs> 
Uh, and actually, that guy still texts me about uh, about once or twice a month and asks me how I'm doing and see if I want to come make it work. Uh, but uh, uh, it's, but uh, there, there are a lot of benefits to being a book lady. Uh, when we do the uh, the events, uh, uh, the uh, like the, the the vendor events and stuff that she does, she takes one of the kids with her sometimes, and that's good because they get to hang out, and especially Gabby because she loves to bounce around to the other booths, and Gabby knows every book by heart. Uh, she literally, she she's, she's like, yeah, she's she's like the uh, you know, the little thing where you look at books at uh, at the library, whatever that's called, you, you know, the resource thing. You, you find out Can't where books at, whatever. Anyway, she knows what book what book uh, Dusty's asking for, uh, probably what it's about, and if it's a series and where it's at in the series, and probably where it's at on the shelf, uh, unless Dusty's went through one of her phases where she's going to reorganize everything again for the fifteenth time today. But uh, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always sort of kind of exaggerating. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of benefits to, to being a book lady. Yeah. So, I'll just be honest. He, he, he jokes a lot, but I tell people, they ask me all the time, because I do homeschool and we have six children, which to me doesn't feel like a lot most of the time, except for the noise, but for, you know, most families, that's a lot of kids. <laughs> and so I get asked a lot, how do you do it all? And I always tell them, I don't. I don't. Um, he mentioned before, like early in our marriage, I really did do all of the house stuff. And it wasn't because he told me I had to. He, wor he was just, he was working all the time so that I could stay home and homeschool my kids. So he wasn't there a lot by default. Um, our kids missed a lot of time with him. Um, actually, one of the reasons we homeschooled is so they could actually see him <clears throat> for a portion of our early marriage. He worked hours that if they had been in school they would have been ships in the night all the time but as the business grew and um like he said we really stepped it into a career we had to have some conversations about like w this needs to look different so he i tell people now he cooks more than i do now most of the time um he helps <clears throat> delegate with the children to get them to do their chores and he does a lot of the chores too it's it's a team effort um and then I buy him stuff <laughs> to thank him. <laughs> I like stuff. To, especially softball stuff. Yes. To thank him. Um, and that's not how the business started. And I do realize that sometimes, like he said, husbands often need to see. Like see the proof. Um, the proof is in the pudding. So if you join our team, we have all the training and stuff available to get you going with a really strong start. And my story is just one of many. It's just one of many. There's many women who have boots. She remembers your boots you got the other day. Yes. Yeah. I like those. <laughs> yeah, he did a nice pose for those. That was popular. I think that's one of my most popular it's Facebook posts. Because I'm really, posts. really, really good looking. <laughs> <laughs> he, did the, he did the, I don't even know how to do it. The, the blue steel. The blue steel. I can't, I can't. I can't do it for he can't. He can't do it for everyone, but... Um, <laughs> You were so distracting. You made me lose my train of thought. Um, there are many stories in our company, within our team even, of how this business has changed lives. And um, if you're not really sure, like at this point, before you've made the jump, what it will look like for your family or how you can talk to your husband, there's lots of men like Alec that can share their perspective. Um, so just in closing, I'm putting you on the spot, making them nervous. I, I was nervous to start with. <laughs> you was nervous to start with. You've done well. This is first live, you guys. His first Facebook live. He is not. Probably the last. He is probably. <laughs> 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 so don't ask him this again. They want not your Libre, they said. I, I, I hyped you up. <laughs> 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 He's going to get embarrassed now. Um, my Leaders, that's one of our favorite movies. Um, and we... We, you, do some fun impersonations of parts of that movie. But, in closing, if you were going to share just like one piece of advice for the ladies in this event tonight who will hopefully be going to talk to their spouses tonight about joining our team. They're cheering you on. Let's see it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> he doesn't give in to peer pressure very well. Most time. <laughs> but... What would be the one piece of advice you would give them as they approach their spouses about why they should be a book lady? Well, for, for us, when you first started, you just wanted to join 
to get the books for uh, at a discount for homeschool, and that was fine. That was good. And it was it was an easy it pitch. Yeah, it was an easy <laughs> pitch. Uh, there was I think there was a special then. You call them what, kit specials or whatever. Mm -hmm. Which let me interject. I shared this in my lab the other day. I joined with a twenty five dollar kit because we could like if it had been any more expensive, we would not have been able to squeeze that out of our budget at that point. Um, but now our twenty five dollar kit is permanent. It's always here, so it's it's an amazing opportunity for those of you who are here right now, um, because that I've only seen that once <laughs> in the six years I've been here until now. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I wasn't talking about. <laughs> was you talking about what I was talking about? <laughs> so anyway, uh, but uh, the she started to sell the books, and then it became uh, well, maybe I'll do this as like almost a side hustle. Well. well Maybe I'll do this like a job. And then it was, maybe I can make a career out of this. So it's not like she was just overwhelming herself. Mm -hmm. she, she saw it and she, she took strides in it. Now, it, she did go very quickly. Uh, but you don't have to tell them, hey, look, I, I, I'm dropping everything. I'm going to start selling those. Just do it. Because mm -hmm. it's not that, if you love books, it's, she used to really, 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 really love this job. Like, really love it. And now she's the book boss, so she has to actually work a little bit harder. But she still loves selling the books. She loves the Usborne. She she loves everything about it. So you see, everything's Usborne everywhere. She got Usborne on her car. It's everything's Usborne. <laughs> the shirts. I, I don't even think I have a t-shirt except for softball jerseys and Usborne stuff. <laughs> so hats. I've got hats. It, but uh, it's became it's became part of, of of who she is. But it's also a, a career that she's enjoyed. And so that that's the thing, the pitch for him. And I'm going to tell you something that's really important for the guys. All the books that she brags about having are hers. We don't ha keep an inventory. You don't have to keep an inventory unless you go to a live event. So like uh, with the, the, the Lula Road thing or whatever, where you got to spend $40,000 on the inventory and keep it forever because they never take it back, and then you got to sue them to get your money back. We That's not <laughs> what those boards is about. Uh, that she literally... Only keeps the books she wants for her live events. And, and I've got a small storage place in my building, uh, and, and I keep them boxed up. I keep them together for her. I, I, I He's do. the brawn. Yeah. He's yeah, the yeah, lifter. I, yeah. <laughs> nobody ever calls me for a spelling bee, but if they want something lifted, <laughs> i got to go get it. But, uh, uh, but she, uh, uh, which I'm not a good speller. At least I am strong. But anyway, she, <laughs> I can't read good. We've uh, got autocorrect now. <laughs> Right? And I still, but they don't understand me. It doesn't speak plain English. It speaks Yankee. I can't, <laughs> I don't get it. But, uh, oh, uh, but that's, that's a good pitch for the husbands too. Husband's uncensored yeah, the, here. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, the, they don't have to worry about the inventory. You don't have to have inventory. You, you just, you, 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 you run the parties, you, uh, you sell the books, you're, you're the face. And, and uh, a lot of the girls with, with her, she, if she had to go door to door, she went out when she does a door to door event. That's me and Gabby. That's what we do. <laughs> uh, we knock on doors. Hey, you, we're take trying to sell some cars. Yeah. yeah, I tell you, that's my that's my ploy. I take a cute kid. We've got a few, you know, some of them I like. But that's wow. not a requirement, and that's actually just a couple of our fundraisers. Like when we want to approach businesses or our neighbors. Yeah, I'm not. When he said I don't like people, that's kind of what he, what he means. I'm an introvert. I'm not the person that's going to step out of a crowd and be like, "Hey, look at me." Um, but he will, and he's really good at it. Yeah, I don't um, care. So he's actually run very successful fundraisers for me, and we've got a selection of cute children to choose from to accompany him. Depends on how hard times is. <laughs> <laughs> how many you need yeah. to take right? yeah we might, i'll take Which, them all take... yeah i'll put them i'll put them in some raggedy clothes oh my gosh. and roll them around in the dirt <laughs> yeah i'll take them out okay and now with a little bowl please sir can i have some more anyway hey that is a literary reference i am very proud of you oh that was from a movie it's from... <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a book about the little orphan kid. I know. A book about that's yeah, it is about the little orphan kid. Think, but anyway, I think there's a twist in it. Oh, <laughs> He's smarter than he leads on, ladies. Anyway, thank you for subjecting yourself to your first live. He yeah, hates technology. I this all day long. <laughs> I asked him last night, and I knew he'd say yes because he doesn't really say no. She never not. hears no ever. <laughs> that's not entirely true. That's pretty true but <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's not many times you or no. <laughs> so 
So I figured he would say yes, because he is mostly a team player, but I also knew that he'd be a little nervous, so thank you. I dreaded it all. <laughs> you did good, I think. Although I think they're disappointed that you didn't nacho for them, but maybe next time. They can't see you. You're too far down. <laughs> see, that you worked. It on purpose. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You do it. Oh, gosh. They can't see that either. <laughs> but I did it, and I did two different ones. You did. They just couldn't see the full view. That, that's We're good with that. Sorry. All mine. All mine, ladies. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you for everyone who's tuned in today. If you have any other questions, you can drop them in the comments, and I'll be honest, I'll pass them on to him because he probably won't check back. But I can report back what he says if you have um, any questions from your husband um, to get a more male perspective. And our event tonight starts at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We are giving away five $25 kit refunds and three other fun prizes, a Kindle, um, some fun sunglasses and a hammock that you can read in all your lovely books that you'll yeah, get. I get a hammock. You did. <laughs> I guess that might be the payoff for this live, huh? <laughs> Actually, oh I boy. <laughs> oh boy. What's that? Actually, what? Well, I saw a new bat, <laughs> but there's also a kayak I saw that I like. How many bats do you actually have? I have. Uh, I have two That's customs. Something. Doesn't even know. And I have three frigadelics. I've got, I think, 10 or 11. 10 or 11. 10 or 11 bats, you guys. I don't understand. Sports is not my they thing. They hit a lot of home runs. He does. And cracks windshields. Just the one. Just the, just the one. <laughs> the, look, Jamie's your new favorite. She said, get that man a new kayak. Hey, I like you. <laughs> yeah. I vote for you to win something. <laughs> She's already on the team. Oh, she should still win something. She should still win something. We'll see what we can do. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. And we'll see you all tonight at 830. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>